man? Who needs these freaks anyway? I don't understand it. Let the freak speak. They want to sit here and, and, and protest in front of my carnival. By the way, the carnival that's giving them a job. Let the freak speak. I don't think so, okay? Protesting these human rights activists, these ethical groups. Let the freak speak. Trying to make it seem like it's my fault. Let the freak speak. Let the freak speak. I don't like them. I don't need them. I don't ever want to see them again in my goddamn life. Let the freak speak. I still have a paycheck while they're out there in the unemployment line. So tell me, what are some of your job skills? I bite the heads off chickens. Flying man on that goddamn trapeze! I have three dicks. Worked at the carnival most of my life. I must have bit at least 20 chickens heads off a day. Look, we need 9 to 5 just like everybody else! The kids loved it. I hated it. We may be freaks, but we deserve to have the right to be freaks. Flesh. I mean, how gross is that? If we're not working, we don't get paid. I'm a vegan. <laughs> Harvey never cared about such preferences. Helly didn't care about anyone. We don't eat. That's right. I got three kids, and I, I gotta feed them. So glad that place burned down. I mean, I do worry about my friends and everything. Please tell me a little bit about your last job. I was employed by TMJ Entertainment, working as a performer for THE Harvey's Carney Freak Festival before it burned down. But shit, that place was a wreck way before it burned down. I was telling Mr. Harvey he was nothing but a cheap bastard. Excuse me, but who is Mr. Harvey? The carnival owner. Okay, now he told us that we were closing down because of those dumb assholes at the state. But they should have been noticed that he was never following the proper safety precautions. But they finally caught up with him, they busted his ass. And I'm glad. And I, I'm excited about it. We are in a state office, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. With a P. Look, can you please watch your language and lower your voice, please? <clears throat> now, why would you be in a freak show? You look pretty normal. Check to this me. out. <gasps> well, I'm mostly skilled in taking care of animals. Now I'm a trapeze artist. Do you see this sling around my arm? That son of a bitch Harvey fucked me over by making me that flying man on that goddamn trapeze. It's too bad for him though that I didn't break my leg because I'm gonna stick this right foot right up his switch hit narrow ass. How dare you speak of my sweet Mr. Harvey that way and accuse him of something so scandalous? Uh, I know who did it. That Shanti, bitch. Marty, you know I hate it when you flame out like that. You're only saying that because you know he was sweet on you. <laughs> no, he wasn't. I was kind of there. Listen, let's not make a scene in front of this nice lady. 
You know, Dad would shit a brick if he saw Shapiro acting like this. So, Mark, tell me, how did the two of you get involved in the carnival? I am not Mark. It's Martise. This is like deja vu all over again. What's a girl got to do if you can't even remember her name? Those are a bunch of lying ass freaks. I made them who they are. I, I paid them their money and sent their misfit asses on their way. Sons of bitches. See? People like that, you can't give them an inch. Hell, I'm glad they're out there hustling on their own because they've always lived on me. I mean, uh, let's look at this. It's not like the freak show made us any revenue, so they ought to be damn glad that the place did burn down. You, you tell them, Shante. No, you tell them, Harvey. I'm not your mouthpiece, okay? My job there was to collect tickets, and that's exactly what I did. I don't have anything to do with what you're talking about. Anything. Well, I mean, who the hell cares about freaks anyway? <laughs> oh, by the way, to whomever burnt that shithole down, thanks. <laughs>